हेलो पेट लवर्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू वेट विजन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन इयर माइट्स इन कैट्स एंड देयर प्रिवेंशन ट्रीटमेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट इयर माइट्स आर द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ इयर इयर इन्फेक्शन एंड हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम इन अवर कैट्स इन कैट्स इयर माइट्स इन्फेक्शन इज कॉमनली कॉज बाय ऑटोडेक्टस साइनोटिक्स दैट इज स्पीकर ऑफ द इयर मीन्स दे आर मोस्टली अक्यर्ड द सेकेंड वन इज काइलेटिला ब्लैक आय which is a walking dandruff and third one is notodrius cati that is face mange usually young, usually young cats are vulnerable to more serious mite infestation and this is because the immunity of cats toward mites develop and build up with age ear mites usually live on the wax of the ear canal and also present in the part of a cat's body it thrives well in warm moist areas where the air flow flow is restricted as cat have habits of uh, sleeping in a coiling position so there may be chances of presence of ear mites in the tail area of cat also uh, ear mite in cats are highly contagious and it spread to dogs rabbit ferrets and even human beings when there is a close contact with the affected animals so we have to take a care of ourselves also so then what are the life cycle of ear mites ear mites have a sh- very short life cycle the eggs eggs of an ear mite is capable of becoming an adult in just a 21 days an entire life cycle of this mite is spent on a host that is on cat cat itself and it is uh, depicted in this uh, diagram so egg hatches within 4 days then it becomes larvae and feed for 4 days and then rest and again af- after that the nymph stage has developed and which fed for 3 5 days and it molts to adult stage and which we will see by naked eyes then what are the pathogenesis of these mites Uh, mites uh, burrow into the ear canal and can and can cause inflammation and irritation and which is the most respond to by producing a more wax into ear canals with repeated irritation the ear canal got thickened and debris were produced within the ear canal and these debris caused by mite waste product dried dry bloods bloods and uh, dead tissue and dark brown fluid resemble coffee colored so in chronic cases means in uh, long term cases of this ear mite in- infection uh, got develop into secondary bacterial and yeast infection and which is uh, more complicated for the treatment and create even more stress to to the animal and usually ear mite do not break the ear drum but however in the presence of infection with severe affliction ear mite which can be penetrated the ear drum and it cause very severe middle ear disorder and uh, result where the animal can lose their balance and become disoriented and have severe physical signs of trouble so what are the clinical signs how we can uh, diagnose whether it is Uh, ear mites or not so ear mites are terribly uncomfortable to cats and usually the first symptom uh, noticed by us is the scratching of ears and shaking of head due to extreme itching and redness and they may also shake uh, means the cat also shake their uh, ears and highly inten- and highly intensively Uh, so that the small blood vessels are broken and hemo- hematoma sometimes may develop and another most common symptoms of ear mite is the crusty uh, black substance in the animal ear that is wax and it may be noticed that the cat ears appear flattened or laid back and cat's ear may be painful to touch and f- sometimes full odor may be observed from the infected ears if this ear mite is not treated uh, at a uh, right time then it may develop some complication like 
inflammatory symptom which are similar to bacterial and yeast infection and other severe problem like skin diseases in areas other than the ear like uh, neck and tail could also be occur and despite all these prob- uh, possibility possible consequences of ear mite infect- infection the most dangerous is loss of sense of hearing and deafness in cats as i earlier said so how we diagnose uh, the ear mite infection infection in clinic the first step is physical examination of the ear examine inside of the ear it looks so dirty and coffee color wax observed and they come in the form of uh, dark brown that is coffee color uh, pre- coloration the second method is by microscopic examination uh, ear discharge is usually examined by microscope by microscope for identification of ear mites and then third one is otoscope examination uh, in otoscope examination uh the mites can be seen as white insect crawling on the surface of the exudate uh the, then what are the therapeutic management of ear mite infestation uh mites may be treated with the variety of compounds uh, both topical and systemic ways if the ear canal are filled with debris then uh, sh- it should be clean with appropriate uh, uh, antiseptic agent and the mite infestation can be treated with one of the many otic parasites uh, like we can use neomycin or some baby oils or dexamethasone solution or various steroid antifungal ear products too and apart from the systemic treatment body treatment with an appropriate Uh, flea spray or dip is necessary to prevent reinfestation of ear canal by ectopic mites uh, then we can use some insecticide like selamectin and ivermectin too by recommendation of doctor then some of the natural remedy i will tell you that uh, you can use white vinegar almond oil mineral oil or corn oil uh, uh, and also green tea is also effective for this treatment of ear mites then massaging and cleaning the animal ear will eventually kill ear mites all ear exudate have to be clean from the ear canal on regular basis the medication should be massaged deeply into the cat ears uh, cat ears and taking care to get into all ear mites are usually curable but it can be difficult to eliminate if treatment is not followed properly then what are the prevention for it to prevent the ear mite infection it is important to clean the cat's ear regularly then second one is ear mites can be treated and prevented by monthly applications of broad spectrum medications such as selamectin or imidacloprid uh, by recommendation of veterinary doctors thank you for watching